The following video is an ABC primetime investigative report that started the biohacking revolution. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment. For me, it begins with a blood test. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result? Oxidative stress. And we all have it. The body fights back with a system of defenses. It makes two antioxidant enzymes, catalase and SOD, whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells. So doctor, how often do I take these? And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. It's called Protandum, and tests have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But taking just one pill of Protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. So just what's in this seemingly incredible pill? Well, actually, its roots are very humble. Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, with Thania somnifera and Silibum marianum, are more exotic. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma, all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. The result? My level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Have we turned back the clock? Maybe not on the outside, but deep inside within my cells. Yes, indeed. For more, go to our website at abcnews.com.